Have you ever felt like your finances need to be perfectly planned before you even get started? It's a common feeling, but the truth is, perfect finance doesn't exist. Instead of striving for perfection, embracing a practical, imperfect approach can actually be the key to making progress. Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're going to talk about how imperfection in your personal finances can, for some people, be the key to success, especially when you're just trying to save and get started with investing. When you're at the beginning of your financial journey, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the pressure to do everything right. You might think you need a flawless budget, a perfect saving strategy, or the ideal investment plan before you even start to save or invest. But waiting for everything to line up perfectly can actually hold you back. Getting started, even imperfectly, is far better than not starting at all. The sooner you begin saving and investing, the more time your money has to grow, even if your initial steps aren't picture perfect. So let's get started. Here are five powerful reasons why embracing imperfect finance might just be the smartest approach to managing your money. One, start with what you've got. Maybe you can't put away 20% of your income right now and that's okay. The most important thing is to build the habit of saving, no matter how small the amount. Don't wait for the perfect time to save. Start with whatever you can spare, even if it's just $5 or $10 a week. The magic isn't in the amount, it's in getting started or just keeping on making progress. Those small contributions, however imperfect, will snowball into something significant over time. Over a year, even $10 a week adds up to over $500. You can always adjust and increase your savings as your financial situation improves. What matters is consistency, not perfection. Life is unpredictable. Unexpected expenses and emergencies will happen. But if you stay committed to saving, you'll be better prepared to handle life's curveballs, even if your savings plan isn't always perfect. Two, dive into low-cost index funds. There's so much information out there about timing the market or picking the perfect stocks, but for most people, simplicity wins. You don't need to be an expert to start investing. Forget trying to pick the next big stock. Instead, dip your toes into something like a low-cost index fund or an index ETF, where you get a slice of the whole market. These are designed to grow over time without needing constant attention or flawless timing. And don't worry if you can't invest large sums right away. Even small, consistent investments will add up over time, thanks to the power of compound interest. The key is to start even if your investing journey is less than perfect. It's about being in the game and letting the market do the heavy lifting while you learn the ropes. With an expense ratio often under 0.1%, these funds offer a cost-effective way to grow your money over the long term. Three, set it and semi-forget it. Automating your savings and investments is like putting your financial future on autopilot. You don't need fancy apps or a meticulously crafted plan to make progress. Simply set up automatic transfers that work for your budget and let your money grow quietly in the background. This hands-off approach keeps you moving forward, even when life gets busy. Even if it's a monthly transfer of $50 into a savings account or an investment fund, the key is consistency. Over time, those seemingly small amounts add up, creating a safety net for emergencies or new opportunities. It's all about making progress without having to overthink every move, just set it, semi-forget it, and watch your financial foundation grow. 4. Embrace the messy lessons. Don't be afraid of mistakes. They're part of your financial journey. Whether you overspend one month or make an investment that doesn't go as planned, these imperfect moments are valuable lessons. Remember, every misstep is an opportunity to learn and grow. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, Use it as a chance to adjust your strategy. Maybe that means tweaking your budget, rethinking your spending habits, or diversifying your investments. What matters most is that you forgive yourself, keep going, and if needed, start again. Progress isn't about perfection. It's about learning, evolving, and building confidence in your financial decisions, one step at a time. To quote Aaliyah, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. 5. Dream big. Adjust often. Set realistic goals, but don't be afraid to change them as you go. Flexibility is key. Your financial situation and knowledge will evolve, and so should your goals. It's not about getting everything perfect from the start. 
It's about staying motivated and making steady progress. For example, you might begin with a goal of saving $1,000, but as you gain confidence, you could aim higher, like building a solid emergency fund or saving for a down payment on a home. The journey is about growth and adaptation. Dream big, but be ready to adjust along the way. Personal finance is not about achieving perfection from day one. It's about making consistent progress, learning from your mistakes, and adjusting along the way. So if you've been holding back because you feel like everything needs to be perfect, let go of that idea. Start where you are with what you have. It's the small, imperfect steps that will lead to long-term financial success. I'll see you in the next video and keep thriving.